Do you prefer sweet or salty snacks? Hi there, I'm Natty Anderson, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's Word in your life. I've always loved chocolate. Chocolate-covered peanuts are my favorite, but I'll take anything. Another fun fact about me is that there was this phase when I was growing up where I wanted to be a judge. I even held little court sessions with the neighbor kids, which they didn't always love. So, what's the connection between these two things? Well, they're both actually featured in today's Devo, Sweets and Judging. So without further ado, let's dive into our story. It's called Filled by Allison Wilson Lee. I've always had a sweet tooth. On one special occasion, this served as a great qualification for a unique job. My family and I had joined with others in our community for a fun-filled summer day, complete with a barbecue, picnic, games, and a dessert contest. I had been asked to arrive early and help judge the desserts. My mouth watered at the idea. Over 100 people were there, and multiple people in each family submitted a dessert to be judged. I ate just a small amount of each sweet treat entered in the competition. But after dozens and dozens of cakes, cookies, and pies, I was too full for the barbecue. I skipped the meal because I'd eaten so many bites of dessert that I couldn't hold anything else. That day, fulfilling my role as judge, I filled up on sweets and had no room for more nutritious food. In our spiritual lives, we're invited to be filled as well, but with something more than sweets. In Ephesians 5.18, Paul writes, Be filled with the Holy Spirit. When we put our trust in Jesus, believing in His life, death, and resurrection, our sins are forgiven. We become God's children, and He sends His Spirit, who is God, to live in us. Isn't that amazing? The Holy Spirit indwells all believers, comforting us and helping us understand God's word, know his love, follow his leading, and pray according to his will. Not only does God, the Holy Spirit, dwell inside followers of Jesus, he wants to fill us. Whatever fills us sets the direction for our choices and actions and leaves room for nothing else. When we have a relationship with God in His Son, we can choose to live filled with His Spirit. So what thoughts are going through your mind right now? If we know Jesus, the Holy Spirit lives in us or indwells us. Consider taking a moment to thank God for this amazing gift. If you want to dig deeper, there are a bunch of verses in today's Devo under this first question. You can find it at unlock.org or on the app. Next, we are called to pursue God first and foremost. When we do, all our other desires and pursuits find their right place in our hearts and in our lives. What are you tempted to pursue over God? When we are yielding to the Spirit, we are empowered to follow God's good ways. We confess and turn away from sin, and we see the fruit the Spirit produces in our lives. Love, joys, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. As we read in Galatians 5, 22-23, what does a Spirit-filled life look like? Here's a hint. Reread today's Bible passages. As you and I can read in Ephesians 5:18, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now I'd encourage you to read in your Bible, 1 Corinthians 2, 12 through 16, Galatians 5, 16 through 26, and Ephesians 5, 1 through 20, to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource of Keys for Kids Ministries. Did you know that we are talking about Jesus on Instagram all month long, answering some of the most basic and more difficult questions about him? So if you're curious about Jesus but afraid to ask about him, go follow us at Unlocked Devo on Instagram. Also, be sure to check back for tomorrow's devotional, which is actually a story with Dylan. But until then, I'm Natty, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God 
in your life.